In this video, we will show the cabin altitude warning or rapid depressurization procedures being executed according to Boeing QRH philosophy. Although the situation requires a sequence of actions, they are to be performed in a deliberate and systematic manner. Some airspace regions require specific lateral navigation while executing an emergency descent without prior coordination. Hey, that's your mask. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. I'm canceling the warning. I have control. Try to control the pressurization. I will. Manual, outflow valve closed. The cabin is not under control. I agree. Let's continue with the memory actions. Affirm. Attention crew, emergency descent. Mayday, 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 PMDG emergency descent, turning right heading 015, descending to flight level 140, request local QNH. Emergency PMDG, flight heading 030 and descent to 10,000 feet, QNH 1010. Heading 030, descend to 10,000 feet, QNH 1010, emergency PMDG. Heading 030, 10,000 feet set. Checked. QNH 1010. Checked. 1010 set. Let's read the cabin altitude warning or rapid depressurization checklist. Affirm. Cabin altitude warning or rapid depressurization checklist. Condition. One or more of these occur. A cabin altitude exceedance. Yes, that is the case. I agree. Don oxygen masks and set regulators to 100%. Establish crew communications. Pressurization mode selector. Manual. Outflow valve switch. Hold in close until the outflow valve indication shows fully closed. If cabin altitude is uncontrollable, yes, that is the case. Passenger signs. On. Passenger oxygen switch. On. Go to the emergency descent checklist. Emergency descent checklist. Condition. One or more of these occur. Cabin altitude cannot be controlled. That's the case. I agree. Announce the emergency descent. The pilot flying will advise the cabin crew on the PA system of impending rapid descent. Done. The pilot monitoring will advise ATC and obtain the area altimeter setting, QNH 1010. 1010 set. Passenger signs on. It's on. Without delay, descend to the lowest safe altitude or 10,000 feet, whichever is higher. 10,000 set. Checked. Engine start switches, both, continuous. 
Thrust levers, both. Reduce thrust to minimum or as needed for anti-ice. Idle thrust. Speed brake, flight to 10. Flight to 10. If structural integrity is in doubt, limit speed as much as possible and avoid high maneuvering loads. Set target speed to MMO, VMO. I'm maintaining 262 knots. Checked. That's the end of the memory actions. When approaching the level off altitude, smoothly lower the speed brake lever to the down detent and level off. Add thrust and stabilize on altitude and airspeed. Roger. 2000 to level off. Checked. One thousand to level off. Checked. Speed brake retracted. Speed two fifty set. Checked. Let's continue the checklist. Roger. Cabin is already reaching ten thousand. I will remove the mask, okay? Okay. Crew oxygen regulators. Normal. Flight crew must use oxygen when cabin altitude is above 10,000 feet. To conserve oxygen, move the regulator to normal. I'm removing my mask. Okay. Engine start switches, both, as needed. You can move them to off. Off. The new course of action is based on weather, oxygen, fuel remaining, and available airports. Use of long-range crews may be needed. Choose one. Pressurization mode selector is in manual, or pressurization mode selector is not in manual. Pressurization mode selector is in manual. Affirm. Go to step 13, checklist, complete except deferred items. Remember, only a few situations need an immediate response, and cabin altitude warning or rapid depressurization is one of them. When a non-normal situation occurs at the direction of the pilot flying, both crew members do all memory items in their areas of responsibility without delay. Following a depressurization, the pilot flying calls for the checklist when the flight path is under control and all memory items are complete. For checklists with memory items, the pilot monitoring first verifies that each memory item has been done. The checklist is normally read aloud during this verification. The pilot flying does not need to respond except for items that are not in agreement with the checklist. The item numbers do not need to be read. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day.